How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Today, we're talking about Sensionix holding and their likelihood to get approved for their 180-day system. I also want to talk about some catalysts going for them in the next couple weeks. So, you know, if you're new to the channel, my name's Sam. I talk about penny stocks. I talk about growth stocks, dividend stocks, you know, whatever we think is going to do well. And we've actually done really well recently. So we bought into Sense. If you don't know about Sensionix, we bought in at a dollar seventy, doubled our position when it down to when it went down to a dollar fifty, and then we've been sitting on it since then. And you can just take a look at the fidelity portfolio here. We're up about 160%. Now, you know, this is all relative, right? So I threw in a certain amount. You might have thrown in a lot more or a lot less, but we've been doing well on other stocks too. You can see some of them down the line. This portfolio has only been open for about two months. So we're going to take a look at Sense again. I want to give a shout out to another YouTuber that actually found some of this information out because, you know, it's really helpful to be able to use other people's information and uh, be able to bounce ideas off each other. That's one of the great things about the YouTube space in general is you get a lot of different points of view. But if you guys like us, if you don't mind hitting the like button for me before we get started, I really appreciate that. Please hit subscribe too if you haven't done that already. You know, maybe share it to someone else that you know that likes yeah, growth stocks or penny stocks or just dividend stocks or, you know, anything in between any kind of investing. Definitely uh, share the link if you guys don't mind. Also, there is a link down there to Patreon. Definitely check that out down below if you want to get news a little bit faster. If you want to see exactly what I'm buying and selling in real time. So right after I do it, I go into the Patreon and the Discord and I send out a message giving a little explanation for what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Also, there's a link down there to Webull. If you want some free stocks, you can deposit $100. So definitely check that out down there too. Now, again, like I said, we're up a good amount on Sens. Uh, I've been doing a handful of videos on it. You can see that I've I've made four or five videos on it. I've done comparisons between this and the next closest continuous glucose monitoring system. But today I want to give a shout out to Dr. Dean Investing. So I think I've talked about him in one or two videos before, but he gave this update this last weekend and we're going to take a look at the paper that he talks about in this video uh, if you guys haven't seen him definitely check him out after the video is done another really interesting youtuber to watch now one thing that we've been waiting for we already know that the 90-day continuous glucose monitoring system is already FDA approved now we've been waiting on the 180 day system for a while now because you can see it looks like the FDA approved ever since 90 day back in 2018 this has been pushed back because of the pandemic. We also eventually will send in the approval for the 365 day sensor. So one, one year sensor that is a little bit out in the future, but we have that to look forward to. Now I want to talk about the likelihood for this to get approved. So Dr. Dean, the reason I gave him a shout out was because he pointed out this paper. I was pre-med, but <laughs> that doesn't mean much to me anymore because I've been out of the space so long. So I don't look at I don't look at scientific papers all the time like I used to have to, but you can see the first assessment of the performance of an implantable continuous glucose monitoring system through 180 days in a primary adolescent population with type 1 diabetes. So this was looking at 36 different individuals that had this 180 day system in their, in their body and they were using it. So what they found was they had a overall MARD of 9.4%. Now MARD is mean absolute relative difference. It's a measure of choice for this kind of continuous glucose monitoring system. Now, Dr. Dean obviously has a much stronger background in the field and he said that this is actually fairly accurate for what this is. You can see here that ever since CGM system is safe and accurate through 180 days in a primary adolescent population of subjects with type one diabetes. So that was the conclusion from this test. Now this is a pretty small sample size, 36 people, but this sounds pretty, pretty strong. Like their results were pretty strong. Now that is a major catalyst going for them moving forward. I think once they get approved for their 180 day system, I think the stock will jump a significant amount. Now, a couple other catalysts that we have in the short term, first of all, we have this healthcare conference that they're going to participate in in a week from this Thursday. So February 25, they're going to participate in this SVB Learing Global Healthcare Conference. Now, what they present, I'm not exactly sure. 
I'm not sure. I don't think they've really explained what's going to happen or what they're going to be talking about, but it could be a potential catalyst. We saw that with BNGO when they announced or when they actually went through their conferences and they blew up that week. We had a lot of big price movements because of some different information that they presented. You know, you never know what's going to come out of here because there are a lot of eyes on it. A lot of people are paying attention. Now, they did also turn over their European efforts to Accenture. This is going to be big too. Accenture is a huge company in diabetes, the largest in the space, and they turned over their European sales to them. Uh, They announced that partnership last year, and they finally went through and finished it off. So Accenture is going to be taking that over. Now, the other thing that just happened recently, which is just something to keep in mind, they have a very strong cash position. I mean, we covered this. This is when we actually bought more. This is when I doubled my shares. I personally was really excited when they announced this. They needed cash. They announced a $50 million deal. They upped this to $100 million, and then they announced a closing of a $115 million deal. So this was at a little bit of a discount to what they're trading at now. You can see it was less than half the price, but they were able to get a very significant amount of money for what they need going forward. So they do have a lot of runway. Those are some of the catalysts that are coming up for this company. Keep in mind, This is still only a $1.5 billion company. So diabetes patients in general, there are a ton of them. Uh, It's a very big market. And if they are able to get this 180 day system, I think this is going to send the stock price up massively. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, Let me know if you guys like these updates on Sends. I plan on doing more of these in the future because I really do like the stock. So many people have been asking me what price I'll sell out at. Like once it hits $5 while I sell out, once it hits six, I'm not looking for short term gains necessarily in this. I mean, I would love them, but I think this could be a really good stock to hold for the long term. I think this one is in a growing industry. I mean, when you look at the US population in general, when you look at the world population, we're becoming more obese, right? You're in a company that can actually do a lot of good. I don't really want to try to sell in and out of this one. I think this one is a good one to hold for the long term. And I realize there could be pullbacks. We're in the green a lot on this one. Obviously, we're up 160%, which always helps because you have a lot more cushion before you go negative. But this is one that I want to hold for the long term. And I don't want to be worried about the day to day fluctuation. But I do want to see if there is a good buying in price. So yeah, I'm going to be paying attention to it, but I'm not going to be paying attention to, you know, try to sell out real quick and then buy back in or anything like that. I might just be buying more shares eventually down the line if there is some kind of pullback. Let me know what stock I should be looking at today because, you know, the market is closed today. So what should I be researching that I have not talked about on the channel? I appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see the Patreon or check out Weeble and get some free stocks, definitely check that out down below. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.